lain What's going on YouTube? Welcome back to Saunders Lifestyle. If you're just tuning in, go ahead and smash the subscribe button. Go ahead and give me a like, share, comment at the end of this video. So today I brought you guys on. I got the third gen uh, right in front of me. Uh, as you guys know, I've been trying to tint the windows on this uh, thing as well as the lights. Uh, today, uh, project is going to be tinting the uh, front side windows and the front windshield. Um, so uh, I'm going to hit it up with some uh, Lumar 5% in the front and then uh, 50% in the, in the, I'm sorry, 5% on the side windows and then 50% uh, on the uh, front window. So as you guys can see, I already tinted up the back glass um, as well as the rear lights. Um, the other piece I need to do is, uh, and I'll accomplish that today, show you guys, is uh, I'm going to black out this uh, side marker here. All right. And um, the front lights as well and black those out. So. Um, as I'm walking around now, I'm starting to see there's some spots lifting on my my wrap um, Let's just say for instance like right here. It's kind of lifting So I might have to fix that, but I'll probably wait for a little bit. I'm not gonna mess with it too much right now um, But for overall the wrap is still looking good um, But yeah, let me go ahead and pull the car out real quick show you guys what it looks like without the tin on it Give you a quick uh, quick walk around and then uh, I'll go ahead and bring it back in because I need to adjust the car over to the side because obviously as you guys know my garage is so small uh, when it comes down to it so I got to slide the car over just enough because the doors on the third gen are pretty long and I got to be able to open up the, the door to do it I'm thinking about taking the panel off to do it because it is a long door I don't have to mess around with uh, trying to get the uh, tin in there but I'll see how flexible the seal is at the bottom of the window and when I say the seal itself those that know how to tint windows you know what I'm talking about this seal right here so to me I feel like it might be flexible but we'll see actually it is probably it's really flexible man it's old but uh, so I might not even do that. I might just do them uh, with the seals on there. The thing is trying to get it in this one right here. But then again, this seals pretty soft as well. So and flexible. Uh, but yeah, let me go ahead and knock this out. Pull the car out, show you guys what it looks like. And then uh, go ahead and get tin. All right, let's go. Alright guys, so uh, first time I'm seeing it out with the black on the uh, lights and the rear glass. You guys can see it looks pretty good and matches pretty well. So uh, like I said, the front side windows are not tinted as you guys can see. And then the front glass is not tinted. Like I said, the side markers are still need knockout and the uh, parking lights to make it all match up. So. Uh, let me get this car moved over, clean out the garage a little bit, um, and uh, get going. So I uh, got the car moved over, got enough space now to work with. So I'll show you guys what I'm using today. Uh, as you guys can see, I'm using the uh, some Lumar tint film. So I'm going to do 5%, like I told you guys, on the uh, sides and the 50% uh, on the front. So that's the Lumar tint I'll be using there. And then show you some of the tools I'll be using here. Uh, I don't know the technical names for them, man, but this is what I'm using. So um, these right here are going to be able to get me in the uh, the trims. Obviously not on the outside of the window, but on the inside of the window. Kind of pulls back that trim so I can uh, put, push the tin in down there. This is, uh, I don't know if they call it a pick or whatever. I don't know the name, the, term, the terms for these, uh, the names exactly for these uh, tools. But uh, this is the tools I'm going to use. This usually helps me get into tight spaces uh, to push the tin in as well. This is my Blue Max. That's going to be my main squeegee to squeegee all the water out once I get the tent to the window. Um, this is my car that I use for heat shrinking. Um, I'm going to use that on the front glass. Um, so um, that's that's that. And this is another tool I use uh, once I completely put the tent on. I kind of use this as well to kind of get any uh, other spots that I need um, where, where you need a hard card at. 
this glass aid i've used this before what i'm going to do with this one i'll show you guys how i'm going to do it as if you guys maybe looked at a couple videos in the past i did a toyota super um and i use this tool as well but what you do is you outline the uh, outline of the glass itself uh, that way you know where your line's at, your hard line's at, and then you can cut on there. So I can even use it for the uh, the uh, rear view mirror area. So uh, I'll show you guys once I do the windshield. And then uh, typically this tool right here I use when I do the windshield or the rear window. I can get down and reach in the spots that I can't get with my uh, squeegee and hand. So um, there's a couple other tools I got. Uh, bulldozer, I think they call it. It's a big old, I don't even know if it's up here or not, but... It's a pretty big uh, tool. Um, actually, I don't even know where it's at. But anyways, it's a pretty big uh, squeegee. No, I don't see it. It's a pretty big squeegee too, and they call it a bulldozer. And uh, you can get in tight spots as well on the rear window, front windshield, however you're going to use it uh, is there. So enough rambling on. Let me go ahead and get, put you guys on my head pro. I'm going to go ahead and uh, put some background music on, show you guys what I'm doing on this uh, window. I'm going to start on the uh, driver window and then uh, possibly move to the windshield and then do the uh, passenger window uh, upon completion. So let's go ahead and get started. I got you on the head pro so that way I can show you exactly what I'm doing. Um, I'm going to speed up the, the video though, but what I'm going to end up doing is I'm going to cut this out here. All right. Uh, to give me a, a line. So obviously this door uh, is not perfectly straight. So otherwise I would use this straight line, but, uh, what I'm going to do is I pulled it down just a little bit further. I'm going to cut it uh, right along that gasket and then that'll give me my bottom. And then, uh, what I'll do is I'll open the door, cut around the glass. Um, and that'll give me my top, my sides. Um, and what I like to do is I try to get it exactly right at the edge of the glass if I can and uh, to make it look a little bit better uh, when you know when you're opening a door and stuff like that or when you have the window halfway down it's not like where there's a gap um, so with that said uh, I'm gonna go ahead and get started I'm gonna put you guys on a fast rewind or fast forward that way you're not sitting here all day watching me do this so all right so what I'll do though is uh, between each thing I'm gonna, I'm gonna tell you exactly what I'm doing and then you can just see what I'm doing all right all right, let's get to it. All right, another thing is you want to make sure all your edges uh, are rounded off. You never want any sharp corners uh, just because it's easier to fold um, and whatnot. So I like to cut off all the edges and make them rounded. And all I'm doing right now is just kind of trimming up some small stuff that I've seen. So you can cut these windows out in twos. You can overlap it, flip the tent the other way backwards, and then uh, lay it out. So, hold on, let me, let me rewind that real quick. So if you want, you can cut uh, two windows out at one time. And what I mean by that is that you can take the tent, because obviously when I pull this plastic off, the glue is on the back side of this one or the glue is on the front side of this, which this window, this tent is gonna go on the inside. And then you have this other sheet of tin here. If I flipped it in reverse, I can cut out both sides at one time. So that way it's a duplicate. But uh, for today's purposes, I'm just cutting them out single because there's only two windows I need to do and then the front windshield. So it's not like I'm doing an entire car, uh, four windows, five windows, what it is. And uh, so I'm doing it this way. So I uh, just wanna give you guys that information. All right, now that I have that cut out, I'm gonna go ahead and uh, heat shrink it some. As I, as I explained to you guys, man, this uh, this window is a lot round, not a little round. Um, so we're gonna go ahead and do that real fast. All right, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna heat these fingers right here just to make sure, cause it's rounded. I wanna make sure it's a, a good a, a good fit. Believe me, doing this is going to help you out in the long run. And like I said, what this is doing is because the window itself is rounded. So you, you don't want those singers to come up later on when you're trying to uh, squeeze everything down. So I might end up with this window because it's so big. I might end up just, uh, might end up just shrinking the whole window on there just to make sure it's good to go. 
That way I have no issues later on. All right, so I got it all shrunk down like I wanted to. Um, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and pull this back here. Uh, I'm gonna clean the, black, the back side of this glass. And then uh, once I clean the back side of the glass, I'll be able to lay the tent onto the window, slide it around, squeegee it out, and this one should be secured. All right, let's go ahead and go. All right, so just peel this back. I'm about to put some water on this, soap and water. I like to go halfway down with the plastic. We don't contaminate the bottom of half of it. I'm trying to work it onto the glass. Got it laid out where I wanted to. So I'm gonna have to fix, there's a problem, a, pro, a problem right here, but I'll fix it here in a second. So I kinda got it lined up where I wanted it. So what I'll go ahead and do is start squeegeeing it out. So that's that. Let me wipe off the door, check my work. So it's just soap and water, man, so it's not gonna hurt your, your car at all. Yes, I have the door handle for this. I need to put it on. But yeah, that's where we're at right now, so. Check my work real fast. Check this other side. I'm gonna leave it open because I need to. I want to trim on this window right here. So, like I said, check my work right. So I can see that there is some small bubbles right here. So what I'll do is I'll take my squeegee. I'll use a sharp one because it's a tight spot. There you have it. Glass is tinted. This panel down. Soap and water. Ain't gonna hurt nobody. So there's some small minor right here in perfection. I'm gonna cut that off just to make it look right. Uh, but yeah, for the most part, there you go, man. Uh, that is definitely the 5% uh, on there. Came out really good. All right, so I'm not gonna video the other side. I'm just gonna go ahead and knock it out. Uh, but I will turn you guys on when I do the windshield. So like I said, I'm gonna do 50% on the windshield and then we'll go from there, all right? Stay tuned in. All right guys, so I uh, finished the, uh, both sides of the uh, glass, this side, the driver's side and the passenger side. As you guys can see, it's a lot darker in there. Um, I did 5% like I told you guys. So uh, now I'm going to tackle the uh, windshield with 50%. So as I told you guys, I have the uh, 
glass aid, which is the little package you probably won't be able to see it. But so pretty much what it is is um it's almost like a sticker um that outlines the the line where you want to cut. So what you want to do is you want to place a tin on top of this. Typically heat, heat shrink it down just as far as I can, and then uh, I'll uh, well I'll put it on here. I'll cut it out, um, and then what I'll do is uh, just cut out on the outside. I'll heat shrink as much as I can, then I'll pull this white tape off um, after cutting exactly where I need to be at, and then heat shrink the rest of it. Um, so what I'll do is I'll put you guys on a GoPro, on a head pro. Well, actually, probably not the head pro. I'll probably just stage you guys right here on top of the uh, hood of the uh, Camaro and uh, face it here. That way you guys can see exactly what I'm doing. So. So I got my Johnson Johnson baby powder. What I do is just a little bit on her, not too much. And what this does is prevents the uh, tent from sticking uh, when you're heat shrinking. So when you heat shrink it, obviously I'm gonna be using this uh, card right here, just like a felt card, and uh, I'll be squeezing it. But what I wanna do is I wanna make sure when I squeeze it, I'm only squeezing in the, uh, the, the uh, triangles that are vertical, they call them fingers, and nothing else. So that uh, should be a pretty easy, uh, shrink on the front windshield is it's pretty much straight for the most part but uh i mean i say that now until i start shrinking right so i'm gonna go ahead and put this on here so what i do is here is i'll slide it back down stick it in place where i need it to be for the most part kind of follow the same lines that i cut it in right this head this here What I like to do is I, I like to take the card and I'll make an H with it, tack it down, All right? Tack it down here, tack it down here, tack it down, tack it down. And what I typically do is I work corner corner, getting what I need, uh, what I need to shrink down. So. Um, So for the most part, like I said, this window is, is really not gonna need too much shrinking. Um, but what I wanna kinda show you guys is, so you want the fingers, which is these little triangle uh, lines that are fold up, you want them to be vertical. Uh, if you shrink them side or horizontal, you're gonna end up creasing the tent, all right? Um, so like I said, this window is pretty much flat for the most part. So it shouldn't be too hard. I feel like that side might give me a little bit, but we'll figure it out. We'll make it go as we go. Yeah, like I said, for the most part, this is pretty flat. So what I'm gonna do is uh, take a towel real quick wipe on the outside of it. So I see what I'm working with. All right, yeah, that's gonna be pretty quick. So uh, I'll take my heat gun. All right, let's get started. 
So I, like I said, I like to work my way. I like to work my, uh, like I'll cut it here and do the bottom or do the top first and then I work my way to the other side. So, um, let me take this and put this out here real quick. So, I was going to go. Like I said, for the most part, this this, this wind, this wind, uh, I'm about to, start, I'm about to say windscreen again, right? Been over here in England too damn long. Uh, this windshield is pretty much flat, so at the end of the day, it's not going to take too much to shrink it down. So this side is done. This side is done. And what I'll do is I'll go ahead and move over to the other side. I should make it these edges real fast. So we work the other side. What up guys so uh finally got the car done i want to show y'all what it looks like came out pretty nice got five percent on the side windows 50 percent on the front uh dark smoke on the rear uh with the vinyl wrap uh on the on the vinyl on the uh back window as well as the uh lights i did them all out so they're all blacked out came out pretty nice the outcome looks really good um, definitely want to hear what you guys got to say about it i'm gonna keep bringing you guys these diys because at the end of the day man i love doing this stuff as a hobby I, I, I just didn't get an enjoyment out doing it so um but yeah man i'm gonna give you some of this b-roll real quick tell me what you guys think of the third gen definitely leave it in the below in the comments man be honest with me honest opinions i don't care 
Uh, but at the end of the day, it's my car, man. So if you guys are gonna hate, hate, go ahead and hate, man. It still looks good. I got multiple cars, so it's all good. Uh, so yeah, I'm gonna give you that B-roll real quick in, uh, how we say it, in three, two, one, let's go. L-double got that fire. guys so uh let me know what y'all think man i think it came out pretty nice the stance is nice like i said it's got a mild little rake in the back i still need to put the air shocks on the rear and then i uh, still need to do a, a bigger wider tire in the back so i'm gonna go with a 285 25 uh 22 tire and i think that'll be good enough and then um i think put the, the tire stickers on it and it should be should be 100 percent so uh, the only other thing I need to do is put on this trim. I do have it. I just haven't put them on yet, but I got a piece there. And then uh, as you guys can see, on this side, I got the middle piece I need to add on there. So uh, I do have it and it's wrapped. I just haven't put it on yet. Um, but man, that overall look of the car, man. Y'all tell me what y'all think, man. It came out good. I think it did. Got the color, color changing lights. Everything's tinted out. Blacked out. And that looks so good, boy. Like I said, my rapping skills are not the best, but overall, I think it came out pretty good. The windshield looks pretty dark. The side windows look good. The back window looks good. So, yeah, I'm curious to see this once I drop it, drop the top. But man, let me get it back inside this car, boy. It's cold as hell. Oh. Yeah, so uh, I'm not going to close the door because you probably can't see me. But uh, I'm excited. I'm glad I got it done. Uh, feels more cozier in here. Got the heater working. The heater's not um, making that crazy noise anymore. It's blowing pretty good. So, uh, yeah, man, other than that, man, that's going to conclude today's video. I appreciate you guys tuning in. Uh, it's another DIY for you guys for the third gen. Uh, go ahead and smash that subscribe button. Go ahead and give me a like, share, comment. Uh, let me know what you guys really think about the Camaro. So, I don't think I got too much more I'm going to do with the Camaro. Um, that's probably going to be it for the car for now. Uh, just to drive it and enjoy it. Uh, well, I, let me take that back. The tire stickers, I will throw those on there. Uh, but for the most part, I'm just going to drive it and enjoy it. So, appreciate it again, guys. It's Honor's Lifestyle, and I'm out.